Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Crazy. Back at the game with another video. Look, goal is today. Understand that I have not been putting my settings in videos. Now, I'm about to start doing it, alright? So, that's my promise to y'all, and I apologize. So, a couple of y'all did DM my Discord, and I'm going to admit the video. Um, so, Live 10 was one of the requests, and I'm also going to play the game and let you know that it works, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead, create a custom configuration. So, here's what I get. I'm going to show y'all. I literally play Vulcan. Resolution that you choose you want to play, but I play 1440. Obviously, for me, I'm going to turn strip rendering mode off. Play mine at 1440p. You can play yours at any search resolution, but I play mine at 1440. It's up to y'all what you want to play your game at. Alright, so literally for anything else, yeah, I don't check none of this off. There's no need for me to check none of this off. Now, if you now if you have just a lower lower NPC, your best bet would definitely want to turn multi thread on. But if you have an NVIDIA card, I will I will tr I will still use Vulcan in my reasons. I have been having way much better luck with Vulcan than OpenGL. I I just feel like Vulcan runs a lot better than OpenGL in my opinion. I just never had issues with. It. So, see the settings right here. This is literally what I have. It was running my game. And I'm running at stock. I'm not running. I'm not overclocking nothing or anything. Everything is stocked on my PC. So there's advanced. You can check this off if you want to. I really have to check it off because some EA games just need this. So I would just check this off. So make sure you load automatic and manual selection as well. So that's what I also recommend. And like I said, and it's up to you. But I keep mine at 60 hertz. V blank. The game already runs 60 frames, so it's pretty good. Emulator, that's all to say the same. All this stays the same. Same thing with system. Audio. I'm, now, I'm down the game to on my end runs fine. I have had people that said the same thing that the issues with their audio is a little cracky. You just got played with the stretching or the buffering. Your best, your, your best bet is to. I would just keep playing with it till it sounds right. But most people, this should be fixed. I'm very certain this should be fixed. That I can promise you. But if you still have any issues, you let me know. Hit me up on my Discord, and I can look at it. So, but your best bet is also, um, also make sure. Where's it at? Right here. If you have 7.1 like Dolby and stuff, you might want to turn that off on your PC because honestly, so even if you have it off, sometimes I would just leave it. On stereo because sometimes 7.1 messes up a lot just keep it on regular or just go down to 5.1 but just keep it on stereo I highly recommend it once you see all of my settings send it with CPU I did not touch nothing CPU LLM LLVM everything you see right here go ahead and save your customization I will load the game up so y'all can see and my game loads up fine Y'all see I had played because I do got a lot of shaders. So I'm going to show y'all that this works perfectly fine. So let's go from there. A sports. It's in the game. I got MSI on the top left corner for you guys. Dude. Let's get it. Oh, oh no. Nah. I don't hit that every season. Hey, I could if I wanted to, but play with it. Let's play LA. That's it. And this is how the game supposed to be running for y'all. 
if you have low npc bills let me know i will guide you on discord to help you get some better frames i can't guarantee for everyone but there's ways to get your frames to be a lot more stable if you have a lower end mine is a 2070 with a 20 2070 super 2700 x by every amd that's what it is like i said this is emulator there's a lot of cpu sense um this is something very cpu intensive i would just recommend getting a better cpu i mean i used to have an i5 and man i i, I had struggles with this emulator believe me but it was ways for me to get around it to deal with it until I was able to get the upgrade. But my, like I said, so far, um, the Ryzen 2700X that I got for like $120 for Micro Center is doing the job, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I, I have not had no issues at all with the emulator running with the CPU. It's a really good CPU. Oh, man. Um, and also to all my viewers, I am a parse. If you know what Parsec is, I do a lot of tournaments in these games like NBA Live at them. Hit me up. Come join. Let's have some fun. Online, man. Get your tail beat. Look, I'm not playing serious, but I gotta start going off. I go off. I'm gonna let the game play for a quarter. I ain't gonna lie, this game 1440p looks freaking amazing. That should have been a block! Big money. I get the comeback. Dude, come on, Kobe. Let's go. Tie game, baby. 
Give me my comeback. Great two for one opportunity to end this quarter, Mark. A chance for this team to take the lead. Petrus gives it up. Just got it left. Here he goes. Eh. This is the GOAT. Some of these replays, and you see the type of offense this team has been playing tonight. Great spacing on the floor. They've opened up a lot of open shots for their teammates through good ball movement and just basically playing with Ah! He fires from downtown. The score is tied at the end of the first quarter. All right, y'all, that shows you right there on, on my settings for NBA Live is playing the game in the comments, whatever you need me to try in games. My goal is to get to every single one of y'all. I can do it as quickly as possible and upload as fast as I can. I got a lot of free time tomorrow. Let me know. Anytime, just put it in the comments. I'm supposed to get it for you. Got you. Get it right. Hands down. But I'm going to do this one more time just to show y'all. What time? CPU. GPU. Audio. Events. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all next time. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's get it.